You're 18 years old and you've landed your job right after the course. That's the youngest person we had so far. I feel great about it. <laughs> what made you sign up for the course? Usually people okay. hang out, go party, I don't know, drink, do drugs until like they're 30 and only then they give me a call. Hey, I want to change my life. It's mm -hmm. not about Jira for the bug reports. It's not about getting slack for communication. Where did you learn all of that? Courses. <laughs> yeah. Did anyone else find a job before you did? She got the job in months or even less. If I would start from 18, oh my goodness, I would probably rock this world <laughs> in a way you will do. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our another interview with a YouTube superstar, Dmitro, who's 18 years old, who just got a job offer recently as the junior QA engineer after finishing how many months of education? Five and a half. Five and a half. Okay. Let me ask a quick question. How long did it take you to find a job after the course? I would love to say it's take me about a month, no, not, not more than a month. So within a month. Yeah, really awesome. Nice. All right. Now let's talk about your story because I'm pretty sure people will be interested. Like, who is this guy in uh, West Virginia or Fest Virginia? East Virginia. Uh, East Virginia <laughs> t-shirt yeah. uh, t-shirt in, in a library somewhere in the middle of Texas. Yep. Um, I would start with my name. My name is Dmitro Bahunin. I'm originally from Ukraine, but moved two years ago um, to US. And now I'm in the library of the Texas of one of the colleges that I am enrolled in. And Which college? It's Colin College. I'm already on the third Colin? year yeah, of the Colin College. And nice. That's a thing for the university. What's your major? Um, I'm going for the engineering. Well, oh, uh, cool. So major sounds science, but as a in university, I will get the engineering as the my major. Does that mean that you did learn some programming before you joined the course? It was not in the, any school or college. It was on my own. Okay, so you did some pre-education yeah. on your own, but not, nothing from the college. Okay, so people will not say he, okay. he, went, he took a computer science. That's why, he, that's why he got a job. 18 years old. What made you sign up for the course when you were 18? Okay. Usually people okay. hang out, go party. I don't know, drink, do drugs, do something else until like they're 30. And only then they give me a call. Hey, I want to change my life. <laughs> that's, it, that's the thing. Um, I believe the greatest punch of myself uh, was I moved to the country. It's a blank life here. And as I started to get to 18, 17, um, I got my first car. I was already working at some place for, from the friends. Um, uh, like a with the cafeteria or something like that, and understood that I want to make more money. I want to know more about the programming, and I know that I want to do programming for my life. So that was something that got me. And at one point, uh, my uncle said, "Hey, I have a guy who is right now uh, getting a new group for uh, for the QA engineering." And because I heard it about a month before the talk, I was just like, that's a great opportunity. So we collect everything. We said, yep, I will go there. And I bought the laptop, this laptop actually that I'm using right now for, for the whole course. And yep, that's how it got here. That's interesting. Cool. So your uncle found us, I guess, on a YouTube. I don't know. Uh, he has a call. He has a, um, a friend whose wife ended your course. Oh, that's awesome. So referral. That's great. <laughs> that's I like referrals. Good, yeah. Excellent. But your job is a manual QA engineer job or is it automation? Um, it's automational, but um, my manager gave me blessing to um, try to like insert automation into our agile to now to our mm -hmm. process if i can do that they oh. will be lovely to 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 implement that if i will not do that i don't see this option so I, i'm just going for that got it but when you get hired was it for the manual position or it was for already the, for the manual, for the manual. Yeah. Right. okay so you are a person who learned automation before the course but you got a manual job yeah I got just an opportunity <laughs> of the um, the guys who call me who says that we have the interview for you. 
uh, who the HR who was contacting me. So I got my opportunity. I got that. Uh, I would love to start with that. Even I know the automation, I can still just progress with the company and just absolutely put it there. Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. Great. All right. Now let's talk about a course. So because it helped you to get the job since your programming skills were not involved in your interview, right? You, you knew some programming before, but position is manual, which means there was no automation uh, in the interview. Can you tell me what was your favorite part of the course? What actually do you think have helped you the most to get the job? I will even say the story about um, one of my best friends who also wanted to get to the course. And he was asking, what's there? What is the course? What are they doing there? How is it going? Do I need to learn everything? And I said... The best thing that um, gave me um, the knowledge for getting a QA position, I believe it's just to understanding what you are doing. It's not about using um, just specifically QAs for the case, um, for the case scenarios, the case testing. It's mm -hmm. not about Jira for the uh, bug reports. It's not about getting Slack for communication. It's about the knowledge of what are you doing that like can, you can apply to anywhere. Either you are using Azure uh, on the company or you are using Postman for API. The Postman for API, I'm using yeah. also in the in the company. So that's kind of helps mm -hmm. more. But even though if your company is not doing what you're learning in the course, that's not making a lot of difference as soon as you know what's what what you're doing. So pretty much internship, the actual yeah. practice that you have received the practice, was the practice week. Got it. Got it. So how many how many months of experience did you get from the course? How long was your internship? Five months and a half of um, internship. That's what I get. Pretty much full course. Yeah. Perfect. perfect. Start from the day one. Awesome. All right. So internship or actual practice working in a US-based startup was the most helpful part for you. Uh, great. And it took you only one month to find a job. Uh, can you tell me about other people in your group? Uh, is Did anyone else find a job before you did? Yep, I know one really interesting story about uh, one of the person who is, she's in, from Poland. She, I said, no, she already was a QA, but she signed for the automation part of the course. She got the job in like also about a month or even less. And mm -hmm. in two months or so, as I'm, yeah, reading. Uh, Video's going to be right here. Yeah, she already got the the head of the company, right? Ah, uh, not not really head of the company, but she she got yeah she got uh, yeah. QA automation, maybe even senior yeah. engineer position she got, she before. Got really high just really quick. So yep, yep, because she did study more than anyone else did. She did wake up at four a.m. two times per week because we usually have a three webinars per week and uh, she would wake up 4 a.m no matter what for the every single webinar and that's the dedication great so you're 18 years old you got your engineering job already what is your next step in the life my next step in life i mean i believe writing in the company i am just um trying to get into the team um get into the understanding of the life of the qa person um just learn not stop learning mm -hmm. the life and uh, basically pursuing my college degree university degree and continue, mm -hmm. hopefully continue living in the us so absolutely I, I mean, by being 80, 18 years old and already building your career because i got my first job when i was what is it they're uh, 24 23 24 and that was kind of early i can say but if i would start from 18 oh my goodness i would probably rock this world <laughs> in a way in a way you will do i'm a little bit jealous but i'm very happy for you thank you great what do you think differentiate you from other 18 years old people on the market that probably did not get a job because you are the first one who we have um and what what do you think there is what do you think is the difference between you and others that yeah, made yeah. you get the job but not them? I believe I don't have the superpowers uh, anything from the other people. Uh, I, I don't. Um, I believe it's just the pursuing of the what you set for yourself. If you pay it, if you 
if you wanted that. So why even started the course? So I started the course just going, pursuing, learning. Mm -hmm. And as someone said, if you want to find it, you will find it. So I found the, this spark of wanted. I found the spark of find the career, found the, find the company, find the starting point and got more and more. I believe someone Great. had, but I would wish to everybody that. Yeah. Great. Now, quick reminder that you guys gotta hit that big fat thumb up button below, subscribe to our channel, and you can join our Instagram and Telegram communities where you can see a lot more updates that are on our YouTube channel right here. And also, if you're interested in changing your career to QA or software development engineering in test, feel free to schedule a free call with me. Link you can find in the description right below this video. Let's continue. Can you describe your interview process that got you a job? How many rounds? What people? Uh, there was two rounds, one with behavioral and, and the other one was the coding part, the technical. The, tec mm -hmm. the technical? Yep. And mm -hmm. actually, there was three interviews, but the first one was on the call for 15 minutes. The HR just called me and said, do you have 15 minutes to spare for me uh, to talk about you, what you have for us, what we can give it to you? And we just talked it in the morning for 15 years. 15 minutes and she said okay great i will text you with the assignments that you would need to do for us um mm -hmm. in 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 case to show your uh, ability to do the coding process and after i did that after i sent she said everything is great and let's set up the first uh, interview the interview of the um the behavioral one there was um, my manager, the HR. There was the QA lead and QA manager. With that, for about 40 minutes, we were talking mostly about communications, the way how I was communicating, um, the way where, how much, with who, um, basically what tools I was using, how I was saying that I was using the VS Code, I was using the... Uh, Jira, QEAs, Postman, and everything that happened. Um, and that was pretty great. Nothing really pushing. Nobody mm -hmm. was hard on me. Nobody was like getting the, getting it without any emotions. Was happy, fun, and was a great time. Yeah, that's the after, best. Yep. After that, uh, they said, "Yep, you did. You did great. We are gonna um, we're gonna call you if you're gonna go for the next round." They said it's going to be in a week, but as my grandpa said, if they choose you, they're going to call you in a day. That's happened. They call me in a day and say, you good? Whoa. You will go with us to another uh, interview. And, and the next day, I scheduled the appointment with, for the interview with, again, my HR and um, with the manager and the lead who was just uh, watching my skills. And they give me the uh, PDF file that I can edit um, where was the business uh, example of the person who was uh, asking for some code to write for him. And the code was on JavaScript that mm -hmm. I had to review, edit, say what I think, um, edit the mistakes, grammar or syntaxes, and things that I will find. There was a lot, but the most impressive one for them was that I said the camel cases are not good. The names for the functions are not understandable. The developers don't like that. Please fix it. Where did you learn all of that? Where did you learn all of that? Courses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, I cannot go with that. So please, we have to fix it. Some of the syntaxes were just from other um, programming languages. I actually don't remember that something. That I have never learned, but uh, it mm -hmm. looks like SQL. There was um, yeah. ternary operator, and there was not the double dots, mm -hmm. but just the word end. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, not correct. There's some words like not equal without the the actual syntax of the JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's how basically I got I got I was nice. talking to that. Um, I would stop you in the five minutes, but you you already would stop. You you good. That's interesting. So they did like your JavaScript skills. 
it was half like JavaScript, half the Python. So they was asking you, you can nice. use Python, you can use JavaScript, whatever you you like the most. Perfect. Um, that's great. So you've learned JavaScript and then you've used it. You've you went through three rounds. How long did it take them to give you an offer after the interview? A couple hours. <laughs> couple of hours. Couple they give hours. you call. They, they they did not call me. They um, no, actually, yep. Yeah, they called me. They said, "Yeah, we talked with the team. You are good for us. Um, we just that's you, impressive. You can get into um, onboarding uh, as soon as you get with the, all the documents, so all all the all the things that they just need from me as from the starting to work person. And here I am. That's impressive. Only a couple of hours to make a decision, but." Uh, for for this couple hours uh i would really say to everybody who will, who will watch this interview to pass the interview you have to think on 200 percent of the of, from, from your mind from your thinking because there was some, some parts that i was just like i'm using 100 percent, 200 percent of my of my brain whoa that's amazing uh, that's an example. Honestly, I remember in 2014 when I was getting my job at Demand, Vide Demand Media for Cracked.com humor website. I also did go through an interview and they gave me a call like four or five hours later. But I was already sleeping because I was so stressed and I didn't receive it. And then in the morning, um, in the morning, they called me again like, we've got an offer for you. Yeah, so same thing. I feel you. That's great. All right. Let me ask you one more question. What would you do if you would start your journey again? What would you change? The things that I would change is actually coming to my mind that nothing. The way of how just I started and how I was pursuing with the course, with the just getting the knowledge is actually was pretty pretty progressive pretty important for everything mm -hmm. everything was important so I, I could not skip something or i cannot um, add something to it you cannot mm -hmm. um, say which apps your company will use which um, like how much times a, a month you're gonna release how is it gonna be so mm -hmm. you have to just chill and do your work you got the absolutely the, the main knowledge is the mo mo most important part then you just Got it. Got it. Absolutely. I agree with you. You just have to learn the most popular to most popular tools yeah. and technologies that we actually do teach in our school. And then when you're gonna get on the market, when you're gonna look for the job, it doesn't matter if they use something else, because the all of the all of the technologies are similar. The question is, I mean, it doesn't matter if you drive BMW or Mercedes, you still drive a car. That's that's the same example. Awesome. Thank you, Nitro, for an inspiration for for all of the people who are going to be watching us, probably a lot of them are going to be 18 years old or so, and they're going to get inspired by you. Do you mind if we will leave your uh, maybe Instagram or your LinkedIn profile below this video so they could message you and ask you questions sure. in case they will think you're fake? Sure. You are AI. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I am real. This background is real. <laughs> yeah, sure. Great. Uh, I will leave and send you some on my urls for sure text me i'm gonna be free all the times perfect one day we're gonna record another interview with you uh, when you're gonna get your next position probably you're gonna become a software engineer because you are good technically speaking uh good luck in your career on your path and we shall see you again yeah thank you <laughs>